As horrific as times of war are, they tend to bring out bravery in ordinary people. The intensity of battle is something very few of us can truly comprehend, but for those who have lived through it, they understand the courage that comes with being a soldier. Thomas Moffat Burns is a man who knows all about the emotions of war. From 1942 until 1945, he served in the United States Army's 82nd Airborne Division during World War II, which he described as two and a half of the roughest years of my life. But Burris will forever be remembered by his fellow troops for a single act of bravery so unbelievable that even he's still shocked by it. War, although horrific, has a tendency to bring out undiscovered courage in people, and Thomas Moffat Burris is a shining example of this. During World War II, he engaged in an act of bravery so unbelievable, even he has a hard time admitting it actually happened. From 1942 until 1945, Burris served in the United States Army's 3rd Battalion of the 504th Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 82nd Airborne. He and his fellow infantrymen saw plenty of action during the three-year stint. Burris's first call to action came in 1943, when he and his fellow paratroopers jumped into Moroccan airspace to prepare for an invasion of Sicily. Tragically, while he was planning his jump with his battalion, his wife gave birth to a baby who passed away within minutes. Burris wanted nothing more than to head home and comfort his grieving wife, but he had to stay and fight. The battalion's jump into Sicily proved disastrous. The paratroopers not only missed the intended landing spot, but they were also met with intense anti-aircraft fire. Burris and two of his comrades ended up 55 miles away from where they were supposed to be. Luckily, a British unit found the three men shortly after, and they joined forces. Next up for Burris and his unit was an attempt to take Anzio, a city in Italy. It was supposed to be a walkover, but military intelligence had overlooked a large number of enemy troops in the area, and Burris's unit suffered immensely. Of the 127 men alongside him, only 17 survived. Burris's next mission was the most important and dangerous one yet. It was called Operation Market Garden, and it was an attempt to seize control of a large strategic plot of land in Holland that would directly threaten Germany. This 1944 campaign was actually the basis for the 1977 film A Bridge Too Far. There were a total of three bridges that needed to be captured during Operation Market Garden. Burris's unit was tasked with taking the Nijmegen Bridge. Despite the efforts of all the soldiers, the operation was a failure. The Nazi resistance held strong and over 17,000 allies died during the fighting. Despite the huge loss, Burris and his men continued to push on toward Germany. In 1945, they came face to face with the true depravity of war. They reached the Wobbling concentration camp where they saw thousands of grotesque and tortured human beings. The war needed to end, and it needed to end soon. Burris ordered local townspeople to bury the bodies of the deceased prisoners, and then he and his men continued on. He soon learned that American troops had been ordered to halt about 90 miles outside of Berlin. Burris and two of his most trusted soldiers, however, decided to push on in secret. Burris and his two comrades crossed the Elba River and headed into the heart of Berlin by jeep. Not long into their journey, they ran into a group of 15,000 Nazi soldiers. Not knowing what else to do, Burris walked up to the senior Nazi officer and confidently told him he was there to accept the German unit's surrender. Of course, the Nazi officer had no clue that the rest of the Allied troops were so far away. The Nazi officer walked back to his senior staff and spoke quietly to them for several minutes. Then he approached Burris and pointed his German pistol at his heart. Burris was sure he was about to die. Then the officer turned the gun around and handed it to Burris. Burris and his two men had just successfully taken 15,000 German prisoners. Can you believe that Burris fooled the Nazi officer into thinking his German unit needed to surrender? This one act of bravery played a significant role in ending the war, and Burris will always be remembered for it. He's a true patriot.